is the time monster invading your business? In other words, do you always feel like you don't have enough time? Same. You got any advice? Find out how to find a little bit more time on this episode of Authentic Selling TV. A little bit of a disclaimer here. I feel like there's always a disclaimer. There's always a disclaimer with presents I get to. Like, oh wait, before you open this, let me tell you. I, it's probably something I need to get therapy about. But I digress. But a little bit of disclaimer here. This is something that I struggle with. So when we talk about trust and transparency on, you know, here in the in the content that I put out to help you close, find and close more sales, I I need to be transparent that I that I, that I do struggle with this. And also, I'm approaching this from a sales perspective. So there are times when I probably need to do this in my own life or maybe need to hire a productivity specialist or something to help me. But so, so I struggle with this. Uh, my intent or the goal for doing this is to approach it from the sales perspective. Because if you don't have enough time to, to, to do the things that, that I'm, I'm, I'm telling you to do, you're not going to close more sales. So if you have watched any webinar or free training that I've ever done, you likely have heard me say, people say they are short on two things, money and time. Time you can't make more of, money I'm going to teach you how to make more of. So they are short on time and, and, and I, you know, when it's gone, it's gone, right? I can't teach you how to make more of that. No one can. They can teach you how to cut your to-do list in half. You can learn how to give yourself more time at the end of the day, but nobody can actually create time or nobody I know. If y'all know somebody who can make time, please send them my way. So people are short on two things, money and time. So one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they are short on time in the online space or when you're your own boss is you're short on time and so you run out and hire someone. You run out and hire a VA, you run out and hire an operations manager, and while that may be the solution that you need, usually we do that like we're putting out a fire. And a fire is not something you can really think about, right? You can't think about what's the best way to put out this fire. It's like, oh, holy cow, Kendrick's cooking. The pan is on fire. How do we get it out? Go stop the fire so it doesn't burn the house down kind of thing. So there are situations when you have to go out and make an emergency hire or ask for an emergent, for emergency help. I get that. But ideally, what we would do is before we get to that point, let's do a time audit. Let's look at how you're actually spending your time. And I've seen Shelly, the, the fabulously brilliant woman who works in my business, do this with some of our VIP customers. I've seen her do this where she'll say, where are you actually spending your time? And it's amazing to me because people are like, oh, I had more time than I thought I had. So we really want to get clear on, do you not have enough time? Because time is finite. There are 24 hours in the day. Uh, at some point, we got to sleep. At some point, we have to eat, right? At some point, and, and maybe you don't have to sleep every 24 hours. Maybe you're pushing yourself to sleep every 48 hours, whatever. At some point, there are some things you have to do. And then if you're like me, you have a kid you're taking care of, or you've got a spouse or a partner, and you've got friends you love, and you've got all these things that you need to do and want to do. And when you start giving up all the things that you want to do and only do the things you need to do, that makes you a miserable person. I did that when I started this business. I kind of shut everybody out except my immediate family. And, and, and I am embarrassed about this, but it's true. And I thought, I'll have time for that later. I'll have time for that when I've made it. I'll have time for that when I've made money. And really all I did was push away some of my closest friends. I mean, I did ridiculous stuff because all I was going to do was outwork everybody online, make a lot of money, and then I'd have time. Yeah, well, I also became super unhappy and had no fun. So time is one of those things that it can pop up in all different ways, right? And it's a little bit like money because your mindset or your relationship with money, like you can have money drama, you can have time drama. 
my mom cannot stand to be late because apparently growing up, my grandmother was late everywhere she went. So she's got an old story here about time, right? So do you really, are you really short on time? What I'm about to say is so harsh. If you're really short on time, if you're really short on time, are you doing things that you don't need to be doing? I mean, like what's taking up your time? You know, like seriously, there are only 24 hours in the day. My father says to me all the time, Kendrick, it is not possible for a human being to do all of that. It's not. And, and, and I, I have to continually check myself on this because the person that always gets left out void is me, right? The business gets what it gets, what it needs. The family gets what it needs, but I get left out. When you are short on time, you want to ask yourself, number one, is this a season where we're launching and I'm going to have, you know, 18 more hours a day in three days? Is this a season where I'm on set filming a TV show and when it wraps, I'm gonna have more time? Like this is just a season where I've gotta give a lot of time to work. And if the answer is yes, then maybe there's some things you can do to be more productive with your time, but it's a season, right? I mean, you can do anything for a little short time. So that's option number one, uh, or that's question number one. Question number two is, let's say it's not a season. It's like, this is just my reality. I am packed. I don't even have time to leave my desk and go to the bathroom. Don't even have time to leave my desk and go to the bathroom. Okay, well that's not going to work long term. It might work for five years because you are a hard worker and you are driven, but that's not going to work long term. So then we need to decide. We need to decide where are we spending our time. And this is where a time audit comes in. And a time audit is mundane and it's boring and it's not sexy and I loathe it. And doing a time audit will really open your eyes to two things. Number one, are you getting paid enough? I'm so fascinated when I do this because I say with one-on-one -on -one clients, you know, we're going to coach every other, every other, um, week and I'm going to answer emails in between and then I end up spending 10 hours a week on emails that I never include in the price. So are you getting paid enough? And number two, are there places where you can batch things? So I'll give you an example. These YouTube videos, I love them so much. They're one of my favorite things I do. Yet when I was shooting them myself, I, I was always scrambling last minute to get them done. No matter how much I tried to batch them, it wasn't a good look for me. So what we started doing was three full days or two full days or whatever, four full days to film a quarter's worth of YouTube videos. And we have our director, videographer flies in. I love working with her. We work well together. She's brilliant. Her name's Jess. We need to link her stuff here because she's wonderful. But the YouTube videos end up getting done. I didn't have any less to do. Like I, I didn't get rid of something on my to-do list, we just batched them all, right? And so sometimes you don't take, maybe you can't take stuff off your list, but the order in which you do it or how you do it matters. Yesterday was day two of filming for us. And somehow all of this other stuff got added to my calendar. So I was supposed to be filming all day, but I was supposed to be online teaching. And I'm like, what is happening? And it made me a hot mass mess and it made me scattered. And I'm scattered anyway. So as you're asking yourself these questions, you want to say, okay, I can't get rid of anything off this list. I've done this time audit and I need to do all of this. And I can't hire out YouTube videos. I'm not going to hire, I can hire somebody to film it, edit it, make it look beautiful, but I can't hire myself out. I'm the face of the business, right? So I got to do it. So how do we do this more constructively? Our answer to that was, we're going to dedicate X number of days to this a quarter and I'm not going to think about it again. And you'd be amazed at how that solved the time problem. Another thing we do is on Mondays, it's an admin day. I don't see clients. I start the week off with a zero inbox. I start the week off getting my stuff off our to-do list done. Now, here's another thing we do. I'm not supposed to take clients on Friday. Shelly said to me one time, it does you no good to have that Friday off 
if you constantly put people in there. So you got to hold yourself to those boundaries. My whole point with these examples is showing you that maybe the answer isn't hiring something out. Maybe the answer isn't taking something off of your list, but gag me with a spoon, working smarter, not harder. And so by batching our YouTube content, we are working smarter, not harder. Now, in full disclosure, I did hire part of that out. I kept the part I absolutely love and I hired out, you know, hours of me trying to figure out what I was doing on the other end of the camera because I'm bad at that. So maybe it's a hybrid. You know, maybe you don't hire the whole thing out. Maybe you find somebody you love to work with. You love it when they get to come into your world. It's like a bonus that I get to have Jess in my home for a week or whatever. And I get to film. So when you do this time audit, we're not necessarily looking for all the things that you hate to do that you can hand off to a VA. Maybe we do that, but the time audit says, oh wow, look at this. I'm spending, you know, 27 hours shooting YouTube videos and editing YouTube videos. What if I didn't have to touch that? Oh, well, I'm gonna cut that in half. And what if I was only dedicated to that for three days a month? Not only did we get our YouTube videos done, but we doubled the amount of content we're putting out. So I used to put out one a week, now I put out two. So we doubled the amount of content. That's what a time audit does for you. It allows you to see not just where you're spending your time, it's not meant to make you feel guilty about what you're doing or guilty at your lack of boundaries. It's about you looking at your day and saying, how can I work smarter, not harder? How can I batch some of this? How can I get the most out of the time that I have? Now, what the hell does this have to do with selling? When you are putting stuff on your calendar, because I think it was Marie Forleo that said, if it's not scheduled, it's not real. You got to put time in every day for prospecting. Sorry, but you do. If they don't know you exist, they can't buy from you. Add it into your calendar. You got to put time in for engagement and you got to put time in for sales calls. Now, do you need to do that actually every day? No, you can batch it. There are all kinds of ways you can do this, but prospecting can prospecting is is step one of selling if it, it cannot be the thing that gets put in the I'll do it later bin because you won't have customers so as you are doing time on it and as you are looking at all the places you have to spend your time you must make time regularly in your week to prospect whether that's going live on Facebook, whether that's doing Instagram Lives, whether it's doing YouTubes, Pinterest, TikToks, whether it's speaking, whether it's teaching, whether it's going to networking groups, I don't care, but it's gotta be included because you won't make sales without it, even if you're a referral-based business because referrals dry up. For more tips, practical, tactical, and trust, and transparency in what I'm telling you, Ring the bell below so that you get those tips that help you find and close more sales. And I believe in you and I believe in your business. Bye y'all.